Welcome to Insider Medicine In-Depth. I'm Dr. Susan Sharma. While it is very rare, errors involving performing surgery on the wrong patient or on the wrong body part continue to occur. Standard hospital protocols aimed at eliminating such avoidable errors need to be followed more strictly in order to prevent such occurrences, according to research published in the Archives of Surgery. Here are some tips to help prevent any errors from occurring during your surgery. Ask your doctor whether you should make any changes to your medications you are taking to prepare yourself for surgery. Ask your doctor if you are able to eat or drink before surgery. Ask someone you trust to take you to the surgical facility and stay with you whenever possible. Researchers from the Denver Health Medical Center and University of Colorado School of Medicine analyzed data taken from a physician insurance database covering the period from January 2002 to June 2008 in order to determine how often errors related to conducting surgery on the wrong patient or at the wrong site occur. The investigators also looked at the most common root causes of such errors in order to see how they could be eliminated in the future. Among over 27,000 errors reported by physicians, 25 were related to conducting surgery on the wrong patient and 107 to conducting surgery on the wrong part of the body. Significant harm was caused by such errors 20% of the time when the wrong patient was given the surgery and over 35% of the time when the wrong location was operated upon. This included one death. The main causes of surgeries on the wrong patient were errors of diagnosis and errors in communication. The main cause causes of surgeries on the wrong site were errors in judgment and failure to perform the recommended time out before each surgery, during which time the surgical team double checks that they are performing the right procedure on the right patient at the right location. Both surgeons and specialists in other areas of medicine were involved in both types of errors. We had a chance to speak with Dr. Philip Stahill, one of the investigators of this study who offered some further insight. I'll give you an example. Uh, we have seen as a root cause for wrong patients being operated. Uh, it's not necessarily the surgeon's fault for operating the wrong patient, but it's based on a mix-up of biopsy samples in the laboratory. So, for example, two patients with prostate biopsies will be mislabeled. So the healthy patient will be called back and undergo a full radical prostatectomy, which is removal of the prostate, which in this patient is a healthy organ, whereas the patient who has the diagnosis of a cancer is still walking around in the community not even knowing about his true diagnosis. These are catastrophic events that I compare a little bit to in aviation safety to a plane crash. We would never uh, accept this type of discussion in professional aviation. We would only accept a zero tolerance philosophy for a plane crash and we should apply the same standards to patient safety for these never events. Today's research highlights the need to train both surgical and non-surgical medical staff to more closely follow hospital protocols aimed at reducing the risk of errors relating to performing operations on the wrong patient or wrong parts of the body. For Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.